In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Today, this is our honor to welcome all the delegates and uh, Saren, and especially our beloved uh, two cardinals, your eminences, and your excellencies, and all the people, especially the Saren members here, let us praise the Lord for the, all the vocations in our, in our church and especially in our society in Thailand. Today's reading will be the reading of ordinary and on the gospel, Jesus taught us to call Father, all Father. God is our Father. It means that we are all members, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most sweet Therefore, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in fell following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, let the response be. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home your children like olive plants around your table are those who fear the Lord Behold the 
Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. You have received a spirit of adoptions as sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <laughs> Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not be bubble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord I have to confess to you all that I feel uh, agitated because we are honored to have two cardinals uh, within us and also the nuncio to Thailand. This is his first time to be here. I think that some of you would like to hear some homily from Cardinal Charles Bo from Myanmar. 
who is the president of FABC Federation of Asian Conference, or the homily, the word from Cardinal Ule, Canadian, who is the president of the congregation for bishops, or also for the uh, uh, Archbishop Peter. But anyway, I have an honor to be with you here in the name of the Chiang Mai Diocese. I feel that we are one as a family. I can say some words in Thai, not in Kalen or not in other tribal languages, but I feel that uh, it is good time for us to be here. As St. Paul said, let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Today we are inside the Sacred Heart of Jesus Cathedral, which was established in the year 1931. And that was 93 years ago. In these past days, we had continuous celebrations. Last Friday, we had just celebrated the Feast of Sacred Heart of Jesus. And the following day, on Saturday, there was an ordination of four priests. One is a diocesan priest. Two from the Sacred Heart of Jesus of Betaram congregation. And one from the missionary of Identes. All four priests are from the Karen tribe. I have always felt that here in Chiang Mai Diocese, we are one big family. The communities around us, the many religious congregations, and the diocesan parishes spread out in four provinces and beyond. We are abundantly blessed with the three prestigious Catholic schools, Regina Chely College, Bongford College, and the Sacred Heart of Jesus School. All these realities compose the big family, and they are complement each other. On the other hand, we are all aware of the plight of our neighbors. Why here in Chiang Mai we live in the peace of Christ? We have our brothers and sisters knocking at our front doors, seeking refuge. It may not be reported in the news, but recently at the Mae Hong Son borders between Myanmar and Thailand, the registered number of the refugees from the Diocese of Loi Kok in Myanmar, there are around 4,000 Catholics and more than 1,400 Buddhists entered Thailand at the Genueva Parish and St. Cecilia Parish. At present, they are in need of food, materials to make tent or shelter for shelter and toilet. Last 20 June was the World Refugee Day. This year is focused on the power of inclusion and solutions for refugees. We are invited to welcome and let them feel included being at home even though they are away from home. We are brothers and sisters in one God, the Father, in the same family as in the Gospel today said. Jesus said that our Father knows what we need before we ask Him. May I ask who are fathers among you present here today? Please raise your hands up. Thank you. Do you know what your daughters or son needs? I'm sure that our mothers knows what we need before we ask her. 
because the mother is closer to her daughters, to her children, than a father. But God, our Father, would like us to pray, pray together so that we will realize His care for us. And yet, Jesus teaches us to pray. Your kingdom come, kingdom of justice and of love, not my kingdom, but Jesus' kingdom. Your will be done, not my will, but Jesus' will. May our Father give us today our daily bread, both physical and spiritual food. May Jesus forgive us our sins of yesterday or in the past. And may the Holy Spirit lead us not into temptations of tomorrow. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for your coming and see the things in our diocese. Thank you for your continuous pray and support for our young people that they may find their vocation and persevere to serve God's people in our communities.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our prayers, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis Xavier, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who call to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.
ที่จะขอเชิญนั่งครับดิสจูคาริสติกเซเลบรชันอิสตูเวลคัมอัลพาร์ติสิปันส์ฟอร์เรนแอนด์ไทยทูดีไดซิสเชียงใหม่ทูดิสคาติดรอลออฟเดอะสักริทาร์ดออฟเจซัสแอนด์เดอะฟอร์ทูคอนคลูดดิสฮอลลีมาส์ดีโลเคอลออร์ดิเนอรีบิชอปฟรานซิสเซเวียวีระอาพอนรัต Will give you a welcome address. ก็กราบเรียนเชิญพระคุณเจ้าวิระได้กรุณากล่าวต้อนรับทุกท่านที่มาร่วมประชุมเป็นการประชุมโลกครั้งที่80ของเสรสากลกราบเรียนเชิญพระคุณเจ้าครับ Let me speak in Thai for a moment because there are many Thai from. Uh, different dioceses in this special occasion, which is this is my first time, so let me permission. พ่อขอขอบคุณพระคุณเจ้าปัญญายอนบอสโกปัญญาเป็นพิเศษนะครับเพราะว่าพระคุณเจ้ายอนบอสโกปัญญาสุขภาพไม่ค่อยดีมาเจ็ดปีแล้วก็พระคุณเจ้าก็รักคณะเซรารักกระแสเรียกแล้วก็รักมิสังเชียงใหม่ก็เลยมาณาที่นี้ด้วยนะครับขอพวกเราปรบมือเป็นพิเศษอขอบคุณพ่อปัญญา <applause> ท่านวุฒิเลิศท่านยอซับวุฒิเลิศแห่ล้อมก็เป็นมิสังพี่นะครับของพ่อเป็นน้องเป็นมิสังน้องก็ขอขอบคุณพระคุณเจ้าโยเซฟพ่อโยเซฟพระคุณเจ้าโยเซฟวุฒิเลิศแห่ล้อมสมุขของสังคมชนเชียงรายซึ่งจะครบแบ่งสังคมชน5ปีจะมีพิธีบวชพระสงฆ์พอดีใจที่มีพระสงฆ์มีสมณเณรสมณเณรใหญ่สมณเณรกลางสมณเณรเล็กสมณเณรคงไม่ได้มามั้งครับแต่ว่าบรรดาธิการคุณพ่อผู้ดูแลแล้วก็มีผู้ที่ดูแลเป็นผู้ให้การอบรมมีสุภาพสตรีด้วยบางมิสังที่จะมาแบ่งปันกันพ่อสังเกตดูว่ามีประมาณ170คนที่มาจากสังคมนตนต่างๆแล้วก็มีการประชุมคู่ขนานกันเพราะอ่านคลิปคลิปหนึ่งเขาบอกว่าการมาประชุมของท่านขอให้เป็นประโยชน์และเป็นพระพรแก่กันและกันพ่อก็รู้สึกประทับใจมากว่าการที่เราหมายถึงตัวพ่อเองบรรดาพระคุณเจ้าพระคดินันแล้วก็พระสังฆราชพระสังฆราชนะครับและพี่น้องทุกๆคนอยู่ที่นี่ขอให้ฟีลเลตโฮมนะครับขอให้รู้สึกว่าเราเป็นพี่น้องในครอบครัวเดียวกันขอให้มีความสุขเป็นพิเศษในช่วงเวลาที่เราอยู่ด้วยกันนี้นะครับ It is with great joy and I sincerely welcome each one of the Sarah delegation to the 80th International Convention. It is an honor to co-host this convention in the Diocese of Chiang Mai. The northern part of the Thai Kingdom has been blessed by the presence of the past and present missionaries, with their zeal and untiring determination to announce the gospel, the good news. This year, we celebrate the 92 year of the erection. Of the Sacred Heart of Jesus Cathedral of Chiang Mai, we have come a long way since 1931, when the Miss y o n g e t o n g c h e de Paris, or French missionaries, set foot on this land, followed by the missionaries of the Sacred Heart of Jesus b e t a r a m who came in the year 1952. And whose missionary works and present at and are at the heart of the Catholic communities, spread throughout the region up to the present days. On June 9 to 29, Chiang Mai Diocese welcomes the Betalam Congregation as they hold their general assembly, precise at Seven Fountain Retreat House of the Jesuits in Chiang Mai. I thank God 
with grateful heart for having blessed us with vocations in the church. Each year we have candidates for the diocesan priests, religious men and women coming from our people of God. I wish you success of this convention as you gather together from many countries to discern on your mission. May the Holy Spirit show you clearly the right path to take because the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers to his harvest. Thank you for your coming and see. Thank you. If I may add a few words to Bishop Francis Xavier Vera, he taught about the Diocese of Chiang Rai, led by uh, Bishop Butilert, Joseph Butilert. You know, we have several clubs in every diocese in Thailand, except the Diocese of Chiang Rai, which is north of Chiang Mai. Why we do not have several clubs there? It is a new diocese, very new. But the bishop there asked when will Sura Club come to Chiang Rai? We say after the convention. พระคุณเจ้าวุฒิเลิศครับหลังหลังการประชุมนี้แล้วเราจะไปที่เชียงรายนะครับเพื่อที่จะได้มีกลุ่มเซราในทุกสังคมนทน And now we will listen to the word of wisdom of the Apostolic Nuncio to Thailand. It's very new, and I believe that uh, this perhaps is the first visit to the Diocese of Chiang Mai. May I call upon Archbishop Peter Wells, Apostolic uh, Nuncio to Thailand, to address us, please. สวัสดีครับ. สวัสดีครับ. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, brothers and sisters in Christ, and especially esteemed members of Sarah International. It is unusual for me to be speaking to such a large group of people from North America. I think when the bishop asked me to give some words here, he didn't know that it was dangerous to give a microphone to an Archbishop from the United States with a captive audience. So I promise I will not speak more than an hour. <laughs> 45 minutes, I'm just joking. First of all, a warm and heartfelt welcome to each and every one of you as we gather here in this enchanting city of Chiang Mai, Thailand. For me, it's an extraordinary privilege to stand before you today. This important occasion brings together individuals from different corners of the globe, united by a shared purpose, the unwavering commitment to serve our communities and to foster the growth of vocations to priesthood and religious life. As members of Sarah International, you clearly understand the profound impact that your collective efforts can have on the future of the church and the future of those who are clued to serve her in a very particular way. To have the esteemed presence here today of Cardinal Mark Ouellette, to also have Cardinal Charles Bow, and even we're going to have, I think virtually through Zoom, Cardinal Tagle, is an extraordinary honor and a grace. They grace us with their wisdom, with their guidance, and it is wonderful that they could join us. Their remarkable dedication to the faith, their tireless service to the church, and their unwavering commitment to the betterment of society inspire us all. We are truly humbled by their participation here. We are also very privileged to have the esteemed Catholic Bishop of Chiang Mai, Francis Xavier Vira Arpondratana, with us today. His leadership, his compassion, and unwavering commitment to the spiritual well-being of his flock are a testament to the transformative power of faith, 
to the transformative power of service. We are grateful for his generosity in hosting us during these important days. Brothers and sisters gathered here today is the leadership of Sarah International. Individuals, men and women, who have tirelessly dedicated their time and energy to further the mission of this organization. It is your vision, your guidance, and your passion for service that have paved the way for the success that has been achieved over the many years, and we extend our deepest gratitude to you. This meeting in the heart of Chiang Mai provides us with a unique opportunity to exchange ideas, engage in meaningful conversations, and strengthen our bonds of fellowship. Let us seize this moment to learn from one another, to share our experiences, and to inspire each other with our collective dedication to the mission of Sarah. As we embark on this journey together, let us remember that our service extends beyond the walls of this meeting room. Let the wisdom imparted by our speakers and participants, coupled with the shared experience of Sarans from around the world, ignite a flame of inspiration in each one of us. May our time here in Chiang Mai rejuvenate our spirits, strengthen our resolve, and reaffirm our commitment to serving the church, our communities, and the world at large. Let us return to our respective corners of the globe as beacons of hope, carrying with us the shared values, knowledge, and enthusiasm we gain from this extraordinary gathering. Once again, I express my deepest gratitude to our honored guests for gracing us with their presence. To the leadership of Sarah International, I extend my heartfelt appreciation for your dedication, guidance, and organization. It's not easy to organize a meeting like this, we know. May this meeting be filled with enlightening discussions, fruitful collaborations, and profound moments of inspiration. Let us embrace this opportunity to make a lasting difference in the lives of others by promoting vocations to the ministerial priesthood and consecrated life. Please be assured of my prayers and those of the Holy Father for the success of this meeting and for the mission of Sarah International. And at this time, I would like to share with you the message from the Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Perolin. His Holiness Pope Francis was pleased to learn that the 80th Sarah International Convention is taking place in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and he sends heartfelt good wishes to all those taking part. Since the organization's founding in the city of Seattle in 1935, Sarans around the world have been steadfast in their prayerful support and encouragement of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. In light of today's widespread challenges of secularization, decline in the practice of the faith, and the breakdown of family life, how important it is that you remain firm in the conviction that the Lord continues to care for his flock by calling men and women to serve the church and society at large. His Holiness is confident, therefore, that your time together in prayer and reflection will only strengthen your commitment to assist those he has chosen and increase your own desire to persevere in the vocation of holiness of life, which is shared by all the baptized. In assuring you of his, of his prayers for a fruitful gathering and entrusting all of you to the intercession of your saintly patron, Huna Pero Serra, the Holy Father willingly imparts his blessing as a pledge of peace and joy in the Lord Jesus. From the Vatican, 25 May 2023, Cardinal Pietro Perolin, Secretary of State. Thank you. Kapun Krab. เราขอบพระคุณพระคุณเจ้าพระอาคัสสังฆราชปีเตอร์เวลซึ่งเป็นเอกอัครสัมมนาทูตวาติกันประจำประเทศไทยท่านใหม่นะครับเพิ่งม
ลูกหมู่แรกจะเป็นพระคดีนาวพระสังฆราชแล้วก็พระสงฆ์ที่มาในพิธีครับ First group photo will be the cardinal bishops and the priest who have come to concelebrate the welcome mass today. In Thailand, when people ask what is the short definition of Sera, we always say that Sera are the friend of priests. We love our priests, and these priests also love us, and that's why they are with us today. Sera in the Thailand r a k p r a s o n g และพระสงฆ์ก็รักเซอราและเราเห็นได้จากการที่บรรดาพระสงฆ์มาร่วมในพิธีมิสาในวันนี้ออนเดอะเมซานีนฟลอร์